When deciding how to receive your defined benefit supplement account funds, whether as an annuity, a lump sum, or both, you'll need to consider how your funds will be taxed. If you choose to receive your funds as a lifetime annuity, your funds will be subject to tax withholding based on your filing status. If you choose to receive your funds as a period certain annuity of three to nine years, you can roll over your funds into a qualified tax deferred plan, such as CalSTRS Pension 2, or have it paid directly to you. If paid directly to you, it will be taxable income in the year distributed, and we're required to withhold at least 20% for federal taxes. State tax withholding of 2% is optional. If you choose a 10-year period certain annuity, your funds are subject to tax withholding based on your filing status and any adjustments you elect on your withholding allowance certificate. If you choose to receive your funds as a lump sum payment, your funds are also subject to a minimum federal tax withholding of 20% and an optional 2% California state tax. If you choose to roll over your lump sum payment into Pension 2 or another tax-deferred account, you won't pay taxes until you access the funds. Since there are many variables to consider when making retirement decisions, be sure to consult a tax or financial professional. You can view the CalSTRS Member Handbook at calsters.com to learn more about your defined benefit supplement account.